Hi guys, Matt from 123MyOT here and welcome to the channel. I wanted to show you guys how to transfer all your files from your old iPhone to a new iPhone 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro or a 14 Pro Max. And I will show you a step-by-step -step process where we can get everything off your old phone and onto your new phone with ease. So before we start, the first thing you will need is your Apple ID and password. Make sure that you have that ready because you will need that to access all your data on your old phone. Make sure you have any other passwords ready such as Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp and other apps because you will need those passwords because of security reasons. So if you want to know what data it will actually transfer, this process will transfer everything. It will transfer everything from your messages, uh, your mail accounts, your Safari bookmarks, uh, it has even been updated to transfer WhatsApp. So it will also transfer all your logins and accounts and even your save, uh, your game saves if you are using iCloud. If you are already on the home screen on your new iPhone, to move everything over we will need to reset this iPhone. This process assumes that you have a new iPhone. If you don't want to reset this iPhone, I have a second way to move your files across, but it's not as complete as this one. So fast forward to the time listed in the video now, and then we will continue on with this process of resetting this iPhone. So we want to go into settings, general, and then just scroll down to the bottom, tap on transfer or reset iPhone, erase all content and settings, continue now, Erase iPhone. Now it might come up and ask you for some passwords, a passcode and things like that. Just go ahead and pop those in. Cool, so our phone is reset now and we're ready to start the transfer process. Okay, so if you're not in the US, you will have a SIM card on the side. What you can do is you can go ahead and change your SIM over now. If you're in the US, you'll be using eSIMs. So this process will show you how to transfer the eSIM and we'll, we'll, look at that. we'll look at that shortly. Okay, so we just want to swipe up on the new phone and we want to select our language. Okay, so you can see here now we've got set up new iPhone and we're just going to hit continue. Now if this doesn't come up, you can also just hit the, just lock and unlock it. And then it'll come up again here. So unlock to continue. All right, put in our passcode. All right, it's connecting. Now what it wants us to do is actually scan the image with the other phone. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we're gonna have to enter our password. So this says, it's our, it's our passcode for uh, our old phone. So let's go ahead and type that in. Okay, so if you've got a, a SIM card, uh, if you're in the US, you'll have an eSIM, but if you're in other countries, you'll have a SIM card. You can move it across now if you want to. And also, if you have an eSIM, uh, on your old phone, this setup process will give you a chance to uh, migrate the, the, the eSIM across to your new phone. Uh, so I'm not sure whether it will come up on mine because mine doesn't have a SIM at the moment, but if you do in the US, there'll be an option to transfer it across. All right, let's just go ahead and continue setting up the phone. So I'm just gonna say set up later. All right, and then you get to this part here now, it says transfer data from 123MyOT's iPhone. All right, we're just going to go continue, and it says estimated transfer time five to 10 minutes. If you've got more data, obviously that would take longer. Let's hit continue. All right, setting up your Apple ID. So hopefully by now you've uh, found your Apple ID password and you're good to go. All right, tap on agree. Cool, so it should then show you a list of all the data that you want to transfer across. So apps and data and settings. 
We can actually go into that and it will tell us exactly what it's going to transfer. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and hit continue. So if you've got Apple Pay, you can go ahead and continue and set that up. I'm just going to set it up later in Wallet. All right, Siri, you can add in Siri if you want. I'm just going to set that up later. Uh, probably you don't really want iPhone analytics. You should always just go don't share on that one. And emergency SOS. So this is like crash detection and a few other um, nice services. So just going to hit continue on those ones. All right, then we're going to need our password for our Apple ID. So let's go ahead and put that in. And then just tap next once you've got that done. All right, so if you've got two-factor authentication turned on, it will have sent a code uh, to your, um, your device that you have uh, two-factor set up on. So just go ahead and type that in. Cool, so now it's transferring everything across to, from your old uh, iPhone to your new iPhone. All right, so the, everything's transferred across now and we've just got the continue button. And then it just gives you some um, steps to actually erase your old iPhone. Uh, we're not going to do that at this stage, so we're just gonna hit not now. But if you were going to sell your old iPhone, then you could go ahead and just erase the phone and all your data on it. We're just gonna hit not now. Cool. So if we swipe up now on our new phone and we've got a restore completed message, we're just going to hit continue. You can set up face ID if you want. I'm just going to go set up later. I agree. All right, set up Apple Pay again. Let's go not now and then swipe up. Cool. So now you can see that everything's been copied across. The first thing you can tell is that you've got the same background wallpaper so you know that things have been transferred across and you can see our apps are being set up here as well they're being downloaded and set up so if you didn't get prompted for your eSIM we can actually go in and set it up and we can do that under settings and then cellular or if you're in uh, Australia or other countries it'll be slightly different so it'll be um, settings and then we just go into mobile or otherwise it would be cellular and we would set up mobile all right and then you can just transfer from a nearby phone all right so we'll go out and it will look for a nearby phone and then transfer the eSIM otherwise you can use a QR code so on the other phone you'll have like a QR code that comes up and you'll be able to uh, transfer it there. You've also got down here, you've got enter details manually and you can go in and type out the details and activate it that way. It really depends on your service provider. So you might need to just call your service provider to um, get those details. All right guys, so this is the part of the video that if you didn't want to reset your iPhone, we're going to use an app to copy the data from your old iPhone to your new iPhone and it's called Copy My Data. If you don't want to use a third-party app, I have a video which doesn't use third-party apps, so no iCloud. Um, however, you will need a, a, either a, a Windows computer or you'll need a Mac to back up your data to and then transfer it. But that's if you don't want to use any third-party apps. I'll put a card in the top of the video and a link to that video uh, in the description below. All right, let's have a look at this. So the app that we're going to use is called Copy My Data and you can go into the App Store and just download it. All right, it does use advertising. So um, if this advertising screen comes up, just tap at the top of both and then hit Next on both and then just tap on Wi-Fi on both. All right, you can see it's brought up our iPhones. Let's just tap on our iPhone here. We're going to receive data on this one. Uh, if it doesn't work, just tap on iPhone 
and then send data and then go ahead and put in your code so tap in here and do 5898 and then go next all right it gives you a list of everything that it can transfer okay um, you can go in and take these out if you want let's say you didn't want all your photos you could take out all your photos just tap on that tap next all right you can see it's transferring the data across now Cool, so you can see there now it's transferred all the data that we wanted. We're just going to go finish and finish, all right, and then it closes the app. All right, so then the last thing is just to check that all your data is copied across. So if we go in and check our photos, we can have a look there, and you can see all our photos have come across nicely. Now, th your photos might take some time to sync across, um, but otherwise you should be good to go now. You should have been able to transfer everything across and you can even see, you know, the photos are coming up on the same same widgets and everything like that. Guys, I hope this was a helpful video and I hope you got something out of it. Please don't forget to check out my other videos such as transferring data with Google Pixel. It's a helpful video if you like know anyone who's getting a new Pixel phone. And do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like this video, share it around, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon. Thanks, guys.